Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Visual Effects Tutorial. <coughs> Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Glad3D Glad for 3D Studio Max. Glad3D is a plugin for 3ds Max which simulates fluids, liquid fluids. To use uh, this plugin, just go on Create in the Create panel and select Glow 3D Pouring System. Now you can just click the Glow 3D button. Okay, the first thing you notice is that there is a, a primitive, this hemisphere, the an emitter, and the Glow 3D object, which is behind the primitive, and is this. Well, we can easily delete this box, this um, hemisphere, and we can see there is uh, our emitter and our glue 3D object. To simulate uh, a fluid simu uh, with um, glue 3D, you have just have to click on this button which calculates our simulation. Uh, the particles are emitted by the emitter. But let's see how to work with this plugin. We'll see here there are some parameters, some commands, but that's not enough for us. Well, for example, in the glad 3 d modify panel, we can see that we have uh, some parameters like the gravity, the radius, the, the possibility to flush the particle cache to run another simulation. We can see we have the surface parameters and some other thing. For example, the source creation, we can select how many source and the source we want to use. Uh, we are using the source, which is which is a circle source. In the source type, we can see we can use a simple circle, a uh, plane, to fill an object and to import particles from particle flow, because Glad2D uses particle. Now, if you want to change the shape of our emitter, just click to emit from plane. But remember that you must create a shape before. So we are going to use donut. We're gonna create a donut shape in the spline settings. Now go on the uh, source modify panel and click the middle from plane and you can see there is the donut option selected and the middle becomes automatically the donut. Here is our emitter. With the trajectory of our particles and the glad 3D. Uh, but we can just, of course, create an object which our particles will collide. Um, for the moment, at the moment, let's calculate our shape. Yeah. As you can see, these particles are the particles of our fluid. As you can see, we simulated our particles. We can run our simulation scrolling the timeline. Uh, the particles are emitted by our shape. And to, create, uh, to complete our fluid simulation, we just have to build the surface for our particles. Every particle will be a part of, our si uh, um, of, a, syst of a mesh system. Uh, the particle will be a sort of skin for our water or our fluid. Uh, at the moment, we don't see anything change in our simulation, but that's because 
we have to show the mesh surface in viewport so just click this button and as you can see this is the surface or fluid which is simulated through, through the power walls okay but um, if you want to make these particles collide with an with a, a shape with a, a solid just go on stone or primitive create a, a shape like a, a sphere flush our our data so our simulation can be restored go on the glad 3d modify panel and in the per object parameters pick our sphere make sure you pick our sphere in the object manager okay and now collide make him make it collide and then restart e as you can already see the particles collides with our sphere and that's because we set it as an obstacle surface and you, as you can see the sphere is a uh, really as an, an, an obstacle and the particles bounce on the sphere we can of course set our collision parameters like the bounce level the collision gap the adherence or simulation just here in the per object parameters and we can of course change our surface we can set how detail uh, the quality or surface just modifying the surface LOD uh, value the drop size and some other parameters like the melting so this is it you've learned how to use GLUT3D thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to our channel in order to get new tutorials and guides and to be able to request them. Thank you again for watching and see you the next time.